am Rob from Hope Builders and I'm currently working at the Village of Hope. So let me tell you about one experience I had. Uh, we were at the point where we had to choose more kids for Village of Hope and we were told that there was um, a family in a slum village nearby and they were in a, a pretty desperate sort of situation. So I actually went down there and visited this family um, and spoke to them about you know, their conditions and they were living in their auntie's house which was no bigger than a say three meter by two meter room and it was dark and it was hot and you know they they told me you know first of all their father had died several years ago and then just recently um, their mother had just been electrocuted and died she was walking through with a, a pot on her head and yeah so and that was about two months before I came and they were still, they were still, I don't even know how to describe this, they were just very sad over the whole thing and it was actually five girls ranging from, I think the oldest was around 15 and the youngest was about three years old and they were in just such a vulnerable situation. So we interviewed them and then, you know, I left the slum village and flew back to Australia but that was such a burden on my heart and anyway it was so it was exciting after that to actually get this family into our village and I came back I think about a year later and they'd been in our village for six months and their condition had improved stacks like that they, they were just different children to what they were and they were just so full of joy and happiness like words cannot describe it and particularly the youngest that was three years old she was just you know, giggling at everything she was just so happy and that's that's something that's stayed with me and, and really had an impact on me I get excited about you know what the aspirations of the kids are and I just I just love talking to the kids about what they want to do in the future what they want to be and and the kids actually love talking about that and you know and some of them you know they say yeah I, I want to be a nurse because I want to help people you know, and another one says yeah I want to be a doctor you know and another one says I want to be a teacher but but they're all fairly um, I think committed to what they want to be it's been asked how long am I going to do this for well I have no end date um, as long as I have health and as long as I can do it, um, I just like to do it and I just love coming back here and just seeing these beautiful children growing.